minutes to see. I'll be back. Yes, you're on okay. <clears throat> Hello, everyone. Good evening. On day, on day, my oi, bon. On day, on day, up, 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 we are waiting for everyone to join, so we'll go ahead and just go on mute for a minute until we get more of us logged in. Okay, I have 15 after, and we'll go ahead and... uh. Get started, and I'm sure more people will log in as we can. Um, okay, so for our mentors, I see Grandma D, Grandma Dorothy, Miss Velma, and Miss Marion. And then for our learners, uh, myself, Kathy, Gutoni, Tully, and Aunt Carolyn, somewhere. <laughs> um, and I know, let's see, I got a message, Paul, um, I got a message from uh, Judy, and she's not able to join, she's got a conflict going on, so she'll listen to the recording, she said. Um, so, with that, um, I guess we could go ahead and get started and see who else logs in. Um, let's see. Oh, um, for anyone on the credentialing board, was there a uh, credentialing meeting before this? Uh, no. 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 Oh, okay. I was just curious. I had a message, uh, uh, from Dane that he was hoping to be able to join us tonight to give us some updates. So we'll see. I know it's uh, getting to be finals, finals time for high school and college. So we'll see who's able to join us. Um, okay. Well, I guess we'll get started. Um, Grandma D, are you able to start us off? They do outside. Hey, daughter. So, my mom, daughter. They only get daughter things for that. I eat coffee, though. I eat daughter, though. I hope to get on with that. Dog, dog, and dog. And daughter, more. Go, 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 ก็ตะเกียกาดอกก็ไม่ได้ที่ <laughs> And yet time I get Delta he got eight the key that on it. He got one I got it from Toya. Oh, go a pay on you. Oh, you're time make you one under coma. Got a tire. Conte Tully, my first grandchild. 
ogabat ma go to good mohem or de gehega and tanya. Nahonya haiga. Beto ya good hail go e com hail. He graduated the other night in Honya Haiga. He's black leggings and everything. He got his PhD. I did not even know. What communications? Y'all are with my sanity, you guys, because you talk Kiowa. Have to say something funny to make myself laugh. <laughs> and tonight my word is tot a kun matzedl. What is that? Thank you for saying that. <laughs> I always wondered how you said it. You had your shoes on the wrong foot. Yeah, yeah. Tot a kun matzedl. And I saw they, ma. You know, I saw they, though. It's another when you've got crossed eyes, you know, you've got double vision. And cold akun. That was Charlie Angu. That word in there, that sound. Oh, good. Don't like Velma. Can you hear me? Uh, Dorothy oh, oh. Again about <laughs> There's Marion. Hi. Uh, say that word again about having the shoe on the wrong foot. And Miss uh, Velma and Marion. Dorothy. They, oh, they were sitting together with Guto. Guto, he. Oh. Oh, um, Dorothy, Hyundai in Saito. Oh, um, Miss Marion has a question. Could you, uh, say that, repeat that phrase again for shoes on the wrong foot? So, a kun matzel. So, days are shoes. So, a kun matzel. And that means you got the shoes on the wrong foot. <laughs> so, a uh, kun ma sedo. Yeah. So, a kun ma sedo. That's as bad. Yeah, I'm going to try it. to put the little diacritic yeah. marks. And those sounds like you've got, I was suggesting uh, all of you, you mentors, all of you, we should set up, um, I'm going to tell them because they're my grandsons and I can say it. Our chairman and our executive Hyundai Gedokia branch should take one hour, if nothing else, out of the month to learn the basic Kiowa words. I know all of mine are lacking my own children, so I can pretty truthfully say that it's helpful. I counted the I counted the koi <clears throat> goo the other night twenty times in one conversation, and when I first heard someone use it, it was koi goose mitoha. Now it's koi goo. It's being said correct, but just private if they don't want people to know they're not taking it. But I would suggest all of you that's on the screen are in a in a position to teach it. Whoever they want to teach them, if they're interested, I think it'd be a good idea. The basic when I came in. My sister was going to say the prayer. And if you just say, Bedotai, Bepidotai, Begundotai, you know, like that, just the basics. What y'all think? Oh. Oh, get, ah, uh, yeah. 
we should uh, propose that to uh, the new Kiowa Language Department director. I'm going to put that in the chat so we have it for notes. And I wanted to send a message out. I went to all two markets that we have here yesterday. And over at Williams, they had an abundance. I don't eat them. I eat them for the, I love them, but I don't eat them all the time, maybe once a year. But they had an abundance of fresh kidneys. And then I looked out there, and Kermit had his uh, truck out there. I, you know, he sells a, a, a kidney on a stick. Kermit Gaines, the barbecue truck was selling outside. <laughs> but I wanted to advertise, you know, that they were, they were on sale here, pretty low price. And I can't reach y'all sometime except through this medium. Yeah. Oh, they used to be 25 awesome. cents a piece. <laughs> Dorothy, oh. Dorothy, can you say that again? Is it do oh, is it goon or coon? Coon, coon? And little kids do that all the time. Oh, a do, do. It's of okay. course your teepee or your shoe. Yeah. Do. Do my saddle. Do do da Okay, okay. Yeah. Do 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 no, you got you, you, you got the sound of it. Do the coon, my tail. I used to hear that so much when they play with little boy kids and their shoes would always be on the wrong side. Is it do, do, or do, 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 do? Do do oh oh yeah do oh okay a do I'm trying to write it. Marion do 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 is that a T or a D? Oh, do she said it's a pot. A pox tea. Oh, oh. Oh. You got it. Martel. Yeah. And it was Marion that pulled us out of a brown gravy, you remember? Get saying da. Oh, yeah. Get saying da. We didn't know what it was when it gets down to uh, the gravy. When it gets down, it looks like mud. <laughs> That's when it's good for your fry bread. My long memory is good. My short one ain't worth a dime. But congratulations to your boy, Velma. Oh, oh. He got his too in it. I've seen it. Oh. We were blessed to be able to be part of history, Dolores and I, in that we witnessed melodies. Oh. And it'll go me to kill Todd. 
getonk gear. Oh, my dog bone gear now. Tonk on good. I'm good, ma. Oh. You saw me. Yeah. Hiya, get my soap get up. I go on and they don't. My soap get means everything mixed up. And that's our, that's a very tradition and culture that we're alive on, that we're tops in. Above every tribe in the 580 some out they have, we still have six living traditional things that we do that have their own songs. They have their own words. They have their own singers. But go to be like that. Hey, go, oh, you there, I'll get hot. Hi, you hey, be good, my good. Can he hondy honk a key daughter? I'm done, son. I said, Hondy Northern Cheyenne key and power, yeah, this one in, uh, in, uh, Albuquerque, that kind. He's an MC. Oh. He presided at our graduation, did he not? The higher educated our people can go, that everybody would have given a dime to see, to witness. And there's been no, no apology, nothing. The songs were used, they were singing warm other songs. I'm talking about our deep Kiowa traditions. It didn't get me upset anymore. I'm just trying to find a remedy to redo, re, re, uh, to correct that, but then I'm always accused of being I'm only trying to keep it on track before my time comes. Was this was this at Carnegie? Dorothy? Yes, our headquarters, God's was country. Of course, we're all in God's country. And you mean you know you mean they never get correct them for for doing that. They did not speak to them until. Trying to make corrections. But you know from your experience that you went through the same thing. We have relatives that we love. That's our leadership. It's easy to tell them. You know, <laughs> make a little, give us a little credence. <laughs> I speak well, it as people angry at me. Well, excuse me, Dorothy, but you were talking about teaching your relatives. Uh, uh, it's been several years back that uh, Anita Johnson asked me. She wanted the the tribal the legislature to answer the roll call in Kiowa. They were there, hall, but they weren't yeah. hall. She could write down. Anyway, she said she tried that and said no one was interested, even that the worst were the younger the younger guys that were on there. They were, they were young men. They weren't interested in what she was trying to foster. Yeah. So that's it. Most of us is uh, you just follow down the line. We're not interested in our tribal government. We're were uh, apathetic to everything. So I will say grateful for those who like you are gathered here to learn overhaul. Coming from you, it's always an inspiration. And it just, I just sometimes feel like what is it coming to? Are we just coming to a 
a thing is sl a slang. And sometimes I think maybe our history to some people started in the, well, Marion was trying this a long time ago and she got the same, uh, so that would have been the generation before us, you know. Yeah, not not really yeah. interested in our type of Kiowa things. And the whole <laughs> purpose of the grant at that time was much higher, wasn't it, Melody? Oh. Anybody else got something to say or should we just sit our old self down and listen? I thought, excuse me, um, I don't, uh, Ramon might know more about this, but I thought they started out when the chairman first got on where the staff had to have uh, a, a certain number of hours in Kiowa class, Kiowa language class. And yeah, then I think it started out when most of them did, and then they just kept uh, kept dropping out, and I don't even know if they still have that class. Do they, Ramon? On a, um, yeah, so that started out back in, in the beginning of, uh, let's see, uh, beginning of last year, actually, um, kind of in January or February, and <clears throat> at first there was a, there, we had a discussion with chairman on uh, what he wanted as far as for the employees to learn. And it, there was a little bit of an, an initiative, but there was nothing as far as making it mandatory. There, It was thrown out there to make it mandatory, uh, um, but then uh, it was decided not to. So it was really just whoever wanted to come. And um, at first in the Carnegie area, there was probably about uh, 20 20 or so, um, and after, I mean, really, after the first, like, two or three classes, the number dropped down to five, and it, there ended up only being one employee that wanted to continue with it, um, and the Anadarko area, um, kind of a similar situation, um, not nearly as many, but there was a little bit of a consistent number, probably somewhere around seven or so. And, uh, but then because we uh, got recognition from the state in April of last year, uh, and then the plans to go into Anadarko Carnegie for the school year, uh, uh, we ended up having to kind of suspend or postpone the classes. Um, really until, you know, until whenever, uh, and that kind of looked like in, uh, indefinitely or until we got more staff to be able to have that capacity. Um, but yeah, it it, it kind of seemed, even though we were accommodating a little bit of the, um, you know, using both phonetic and Parker, um, I think I think a lot of people were just fearful. It's hard. So, oh, I come from that a little bit, uh, but that's why that's why one of the one of the few students, or the only one, especially in Carnegie, like he was he was one that wasn't afraid to mess up. Like he was very open to correction. He was very open to making sure he was getting it right because he wanted to get it right. He didn't want to do it high gain, and so I think some of them thought it might have been it was going to be a bit easy. Um, and so, yeah, that's that's the case with the classes, though. So was was it mainly the fear of making a mistake or they just 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 didn't think it was important enough to keep going and trying? Um, I, yeah, I would definitely say a mixture of things. Um, because 
Well, I mean, I, I didn't specifically hear that as far as, well, it's not important. But one thing that I heard, heard from a training that we had is sometimes, especially with uh, language revitalization, is we have to create the necessity. We have to, um, like, really, really drive home that importance of what makes, you know, speaking Kiowa important or what makes speaking Cherokee important. And, um, of course, like us, you know, in the language program and, uh, you know, those uh, others in general can understand that, you know, the biggest thing is sovereignty. It keeps us, it keeps our identity. It keeps us on, you know, who we are. Um, and that what keeps us from becoming Americans fully. Uh, but I think some people just, well, at the tribe, you know, they can get, they can get by without it. Every, you know, all business and whatnot is conducted in English. So in a way, it's, it's kind of like practicality. Um, but I would, yeah, I would just say it was just a mixture of things. Uh, so, especially because some bit of the crowd was older, like probably above 50. Uh, we had five places that were active. <clears throat> and all of a sudden it ended with the Darko and Norman. So oh. We had Lawton, we had uh, Tulsa, and then we had uh, Carnegie. And they were supposed to have been active classes. I'm just saying how wonderful that would be if it came back. Now is the time to call for yeah, those, those ones are still uh, ongoing. It's just the employee classes specifically at, at, uh, at and Carnegie. One, one mentor to each instructor, and you could get something out of that. What are we doing? Are we saving money? I wonder. They don't want to even give us a stipend, it hardly. Benefits checkup. Call 800 oh, yeah. What's going on? Do you, does anybody know, or am I the only big mouth? <laughs> no, you're not the only big mouth. <clears throat> we, we all want to know, Grandma. We all want to know. <laughs> oh. Tanya Haiba. I think really. I, that's why I really wish the chairman and vice chair and the legislators could have gone to the grand opening of the Durban Feeling Center up in Tahlequah because, I mean, Cherokee Nation invested most of its budget, like $17 million, into its language program entirely from its own pocket. That didn't include grants. That didn't include anything else. That was just from the tribe. And I think it, it really comes down to... A bit would be funding because we, <laughs> I mean, especially compared to the um, KLCRP grant, like we don't, we get a fraction of that. We get maybe like 30% of the total um, funds that were given to us through KLCRP. And it's, that that's kind of the scary part is they you know they say oh well we language is so important to us it's so important to us and yet there's barely any investment from it from the tribe into the program and it's like well we're <laughs> you're kind of ask you're feeding a horse barely anything and you're wanting this horse to work to pull a wagon that has 20 people on it you know but you're not giving it enough water you're not giving it enough food and you're you're going to tire the horse out. You're overworking it. There's only there's wow. only two two of us that talk, and the ones that talk just as good are the mentors that are. It's just the age, but it's going to start moving fast. We've got the others listed: it's Marty, Marion, Velma. And I'm not, and uh, Courtney can even teach it. So can uh, Cricket. 
So can you, Melody, you teach it and you, I'm not lazy if I'm teaching the language. But how can you be heard anyway? And it just goes to blind ears. Y'all are wasting, they're wasting. There's Miss uh, our Silverhorn from, from uh, Missouri. We've got either out of staters that are wanting to help. And then people, the people we get criticized, the ones that really want to do it, they're trying and working hard. Then there's people on the side criticizing them. Yeah, you know that. It's bad. That's gone on all the way through our tribal affairs. That's right. Just have to. Totally. Uh, there's ma on. many, many, many friends through the past years that I, for one, know uh, that Dolores had a hand in it, and so did a bunch of us, because he was a friend to everybody. The gentleman named Tony Isaacs. He learned how to talk Kiowa with his whole family fluently by just being around people. There's people that want to know that. Teaching it to my little boy, but I'll never see it. Ha I'll never see the results. Please, y'all are young, think of something. It's important. I just appreciate all of all of you who are participating and uh, true, they're going to criticize, but it's very important. Just like uh, Ramon was trying to express that it's uh, yeah, it uh, needs to be done. And so that's why we're here. And so I'll say it again. I appreciate all of you. And, and I, for one, am not, I'm just a mentor. I don't teach. I don't, I told the beginning, I said, I'll, I'll help, but I don't teach. And I don't intend to. And I don't learn, I don't read it, and I probably never will. <laughs> so, but the rest of you, I appreciate all that, that you've done. So I would rather I would rather work on the traditional side, the culture myself, because that is getting misconstrued completely. Completely when you sing a war dance song to a red cape song. When the guys have on their regalia. And the one that knows, knows all of that was nowhere around to be, you know, poor thing. You probably didn't know because I didn't know till it came on. And then they sing a war mother song that happened to be the one that has the words to Joe Aitzen when he was when he was missing in action before he got killed. That Victory Club song had words. I heard him. I know him. I've never said him. But that song was being sung when Black Ligans were going out. And somebody needs to touch on the culture, too, and the traditional songs. And the one, every Kiowa song just about has words. And those are two full pas I picked up right away. I wasn't looking for him. I was sitting there watching for my grandson who got his PhD and I never seen his picture. That was Dr. Lee Kearns. He's the chairman's first cousin. He's my grandson. I was so proud of him. 
He had to dig and go and scrap and get the, his way through. But he made it after 20 or 30 years on his own. The call on Tali, but he's black leggings. <laughs> la, 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 la. Hmm. At least y'all heard me. Veteran. Oh. <laughs> Yes, the cruel is very unfortunate. <laughs> they didn't have the, they didn't have the time or the word, even their names. And I'm making it public. We're too smart. You guys are too smart. Marion, Marty, Velma, y'all are educators. Most of all, Dolores. I've had that respect for her all of my life. Miss Yarholer. But hey, go, I'm in high, get up. Go, go, by the cricket melody. Velma Roos taught for 40 years on a, with her career. I admire you for that. Marion's a diplomat. We have we have time, we have a good time talking Kiowa <laughs> twice a week. I call myself names and she does. The humor's always supposed to be toward you. I can call myself Sopolwan, but I dare anyone to call me that. <laughs> it's Kiowa. Sopola Kyala, that Kyala is the old word. When you're really hustling to do something. Hey, God, dumb get, hey, God, dumb get, I Y'all are the, that means you're working in your mind or if you're working manually or whatever you're doing, if you broke out of sweat, that means you're really tired because you work too hard. Y'all are. And when I, and I'll quit talking. When a when a owl hoots and he says, hoo, 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 he said, eight day bait chi coo. Make a big fire. Put a big bonfire up. Eight day bait chi coo. Because my grandma used to say, oh, go build your own fire to the owl when he's hooting. You remember that mm -hmm. cooking? Ah, cool. I have spoken. I that my, makes my sense. Mother, tongue guy. <laughs> mm -hmm. oh, funny. I love y'all all. We just need to do something. It's perfect Kiowa diction. I love y'all all. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's funny about the Udell. <laughs> and all the guys are my grandkids, so I can say it. I yeah. go around at this age hunting for where the bathrooms are before I settle in anywhere. And I can say it because I'm grandma. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's a, 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 how long a, I last anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin just Kevin just got back from Venice, Italy, and a tour through the Netherlands and all over Europe. <laughs> 
<laughs> he and was he in the water great. floating around. <laughs> <laughs> and that saying is the lesson. It's as hot they land Who's going to blow all the bugles? Those people that wish you well are almost all gone. Who's gonna Who's gonna shake the gourds? Hot they You know how they shake the gourd when you do something good. Those old sentences are just coming back to me, Dolores. Oh, like. So, Kodai, so I what? I already forgot it. The shoes on the wrong foot. Melody. So, so, a coon ma fatal. So, a coon ma fatal. Yes, so, a coon ma fatal. Let's see who can understand that. Y'all are too polite to say it. Say it again. Let's see. It's got, it's got cross-eyed and no teeth. <laughs> right. That dance was such a joy to watch the other night. It just made you want to dance. The one, yay to the Oklahoma Club from OU. It made me proud. Beautiful, proud looking ladies. Bottle, huh? They sure were having fun. <laughs> it was good to see them. I mean it. Did you Apparently, so? they got honored. The Kiowas uh -huh. got honored during the gourd dance at OU Powwow on Saturday. So they're all excited. <laughs> I was so proud of them. I was, I'd be ashamed to throw my one dollar, though. <laughs> he wanted to throw more. But you know what? Even that adds up. When there's five or six of you. What you think, Miss Yohola? The dancers. Velma Ruth. Cricket. Melody. over all there. And did you did you come uh, from Missouri? Kaiwa. Hane. No, couldn't make it. Yeah. I've seen a lot of pictures from there, though. That was, those look big. 458 on dancers on registered. Uh, Velma Ruth, I'd hold on to a chair if I got to dance to that drum. From up uh, north. <laughs> that yeah. was, that's a good they had good fancy shawl singing and then they just stopped it <laughs> I was like whoa <laughs> was, that was wild but man the, uh, it makes you want a fancy shawl <laughs> <laughs> good trick songs they're good at that too those trick songs <laughs> that was fun to watch <laughs> Is that was that Northern Cree doing that or let's play the oh. 30 <laughs> I caught an Osage drum cheating from 30 years ago. The song, Jack and you singing it, and he's saying, Hey, God, poem, hey, God, poem, I'm going to stop, I'm going to stop. <laughs> and that this was 40 years ago when we were first learning. God, it was a pretty song. If y'all heard that, it sounds like you're saying, I'm going to stop now, I'm going to stop. Y'all made music, I tell you. That's awesome. Those Ann Q's, good singers. You sure were. All Kai was right. Grandma now. Dorothy. 
Hyundai Saito. Oh. Um, uh, can you uh, please repeat the that saying that you said, cross-eyed and no teeth? <laughs> I'm going to try to oh, type God. it out in the chat. It's <laughs> teaching it to be kind of a, but it's got, get the bone, a zone, hey, dog, a time, so they say you were flirting with somebody. And they turned around, they had zone hand, time, so day. <laughs> now, I learned those bats when I was young. Annette, Marty. <laughs> Marty and Marion are two of the, it's my time, but they're two past Kiowa princes. Right, we're pretty good looking. In the same era. And at Velma. Oh. So for that zone, that Z, do you just use a Z melody? The sound, zone, just Z? Oh, <laughs> zone like this. Oh. I'm trying to type it out. Uh, was it Gabon? 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 Taiso de Ga? Zay is, I mean, ga zon hey da. Grandma Dorothy, one more time. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> boom. That means, or that means when I seen her. Or yeah, boom. Not I saw the dog zon hey da. We used to admire this guy from up north, and he always wore dark glasses. And that's what my sisters would say. What if he took those glasses off and he was cross out? <laughs> <laughs> that was 50, 60 years ago. My sisters were crazy. <laughs> <Dorothy>. <laughs> Sometimes I've even posed as their sister or somebody when I get up north and our Oklahoma boy men are getting chased by northern women. It's the truth. They always say, act like you're our sister. Act like you're our sister and you just came. <laughs> I have to sit pose all evening. I'm going to keep y'all's giveaway. We'd be flirting around the night before and then that's going to be stand up for the next day. I've done many things, but dancing was the best. Love to sing. That's why I know the songs. I had good brothers. Mac and rolling. Well, I did my best with the uh, diacritic marks, but I put it in the chat if someone wants to double check it and correct it. Who's that? Oh, I was just trying to type your uh, that saying out, trying to put it in the modified Mackenzie so in the chat so we can try to remember it so we can insult okay, someone never, later. <laughs> that was talk that came straight to me out of Kiowa people's voices. <laughs> Edgar Keyboon, oh. my good day. Keyboon, my good day. Saint Ida. And Hola. Holoi. They were not Pulo, they were Holoi. The ones from the east side. Right. Old mm -hmm. Kiowa. It's all correct, too. Oh. If I taught it to you, yeah. it was right. Hey, go about hodl. That was the first thing I, th I thought in my mouth. They always say, you killed it now. <laughs> I 
<laughs> there were many other tribal young people that admired our Kiowas. And I still know that. What you think, Ramon? He said he had to step away for a second. Marty Hutz of Bailey. <clears throat> uh, Dorothy, is that uh, I saw day or I saw so day? I, I saw day. I saw day. Okay. Yeah. I saw day. Yeah. I saw day. Okay. I saw day. Sounds like what? Gazonhedo. Now that day. can fix. God. When you don't, when you don't have teeth. Zonhedo, zonhedo. Yeah, there's something that's right now. Yeah, boom, no time so they go. Zonhedo. Well, where did it go? Where did it go? <laughs> oh, I'll I'll move it back down. I was trying to uh. Make the corrections here. I'll put it back there so it pops up again. See them with cross eyes. Is it is it nasal eyes? Is it like pox tea or just time? Or is it I? I. I. I so day. Okay. Paul. I. Okay, I think I got it. I. I know. I know. <laughs> didn't I wash her face. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. <laughs> I'm starting to say what I think I have every right. But y'all don't have to listen, so <laughs> I better shut up. I've been sitting. My days are empty till my girls come back for things from work. But you don't answer the phone all the time, Dorothy. Huh? Sometimes I think. Sometimes I think you're not there. You don't answer the phone. Hey, Grandma hey, Dorothy, Miss Marion wants you to answer the phone. <laughs> I I wouldn't wear my hearing aids, and I just now tried, and I, the squeaks are louder than the voices. Oh, that's not good. Might have to get them uh, adjusted. Or you know, sometimes they have phones that that will uh, blink, that will flash, so you'll see it. Yeah. The light will flash. That would help too. I think next week I go and they'll give me one that doesn't have, give me a pair that doesn't have a, any kind of quartz on. It's, uh, they come up nice. With that belt, belt on You'll be this. high tech. You'll be high tech, Grandma. Even my earlobes aren't right. <laughs> or whatever that is. And it just think when they pierced your ears when you were true Kiowa long time ago. Each ear when it got pierced, it cost you a horse. Huh. So when you had a newborn and you got them pierced, it cost you two horses to take home. I mean to give away. So did you have to go to somebody special to pierce the ears? All day. All day, for real all day. And I 
Grandma Dorothy, weren't there certain uh, certain women or certain Kiowas who did that, who pierced the ears? Yes. Certain ones? Was it the yeah. midwife? Was it the midwife or someone else? There were special, you could choose a special old old lady. It's the way I, there were special old ladies and by virtue of, we've got a lot of ladies but they met that Ali Tsonghi or Adel Tsonghi. That means that's going the whole way. Calf old lady or Adel Tsonghi. These ladies haven't reached that yet. Ooh, I hate to. But it is. It's Tengai Gopka when she lost her husband. And I was. I just had a discussion about that. When Grandma Spider lost her, lost her snake husband, and she's saying, "Tai dokya dokya" means when you look good. And I don't know how to spell the two words ahead of there that says you look handsome. Nen dokya, taba inseda My tears are just flowing. Oh ho, they boat pope. He was they named him Stony Road. And boat pope means you got little spots under your stomach. So ho they boat pope, boat pope say yo, so ho they boat pope, so ho they boat pope. But his name was saying I go the snake. And he's hanging there dead. And the little boys thought they were really doing something here to kill their grandpa. And that dokya means, you look nice. You only would say that you look so nice. Name dokya. Dokya. The taba are your tears. And Seda, yeah, it's just coming and flow. It's flowing. The tears are flowing. They say to all yeah. So ho de boat pope boat pope say o to ho de boat pope to ho de boat pope. That's what I want to teach. <laughs> and when the red cape is out nobody walks in front of it nobody especially women that signifies the koitango I wrote a paper about Sedaige. Not Sedaige, Sedaige. All the details about how he, everybody should be remembering those stories. Yeah, think of the brains of y'all that are pictured right there. What we could do, if we could do it. We're still over, yeah. If we could only do it. I think it was a good proposal, but I don't think we tried the uh, dealers. On day. I said, I go on the call on the more feet to teach it. Oh. 
Otherwise, I sat here and I translated one word for somebody that was given a name today. I need to give you all a chance to talk too much. We don't mind listening. <laughs> what about I still oh, use the grandma yeah. white tea towels. Y'all remember those those flower sacks? Oh, oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Those are difficult to find. That's a claw pedal. That's a napkin. Come on, Peter. Grease rack. Come on, Peter. Yeah. <laughs> Grease rack. Yep. Yeah. Hunt them. And what does Cassandra mean? <laughs> I know it happened to every woman you, sitting here sometime or the other. Akasonga Mahayamon, Mary. <laughs> it means my legging <laughs> fell off. I broke my, I broke my elastics, and, and my legging fell, and you didn't even look to check on me. Akasonga. Yeah, that happened all the time. <laughs> it happens to every dancer. <laughs> Even the men, when they're caught a puddle, get loose. That's a legging too, caught a puddle. That's why I said I never wear another legging because my legs were too skinny for to keep them up high. Did y'all see that charming? I I bet a lot of y'all don't do Facebook. Did y'all see that charming picture of my mom at the Indian Fair 50 years ago? Yeah, I saw she's it. She's cooking. But she's she cooking was meat. She was fire meat with her. Okay. Then she's got a watermelon and, and very candles, and then she's got two big steaks on the open fire. And her buddy Jeanette, her her sister, is has to get corn. It just looked like you could just walk into that camp and sit down and eat. Yeah, I like them kind of pictures. That was a good picture. Oh, it really happened. We slept under tablecloths when it would storm. The, all the boys, the Palmers, all of everybody, White Horse, they learned how to hang on four sides of the tent, maybe blowing up like a, like an umbrella or something. And it's thunderstorming outside. Yet it wouldn't talk. It wouldn't touch the teepees. I don't know why we didn't go in there. That's like one of my favorite stories at um, Gord Clan is <clears throat> the sideways rain was coming in. And um, so we got, we put all our camp stuff in the middle and we put our, you know, totsane in the middle and we put the four walls down and we were holding up one side of it. Um, 
and uh, Ben was the tallest one. So we were all holding it up, making sure our beds didn't get wet in the middle. And uh, he, his arms, he got tired, his arms went down it, just like buckets of water just poured on us. And then <laughs> after it was over with and we were drenched, at least our beds were okay. We went out and um, the Hamiltons, John Hamilton comes out of his teepee and he was dry, nothing was wrong. <laughs> and I was like, oh my gosh. And, there were, and I said, did you get any rain in there? He's like, no, we didn't get any rain, nothing. And then we went over to Miss Harriger's house so they could give us towels because we were all, <laughs> we were drenched. <laughs> that was crazy. So teepees were the way to go. I like all these sayings. Yeah. Really good sayings. Oh, I'm glad oh. to see all, all of you. I had a real cowl of a dinner tonight. Uh, extra thick bologna with uh, <laughs> for a year, uh, months, I haven't eaten bologna. Uh, extra thick with a slice of cheddar cheese and a wheat bread. I hadn't done that in a long time. That was good. And chips. <laughs> My mom used to cut the bologna, like make like four little slats in it so it looked like a pinwheel. And then yeah. she'd pick it up. <laughs> it would get all tiny. <laughs> I used to have to put lace on one of mine, one of their eggs. <laughs> Darn what we don't do for our children. It's spattered all over. Any more Kiowa sayings? Those are good. Anybody, anybody Kiowa's home? Go ahead, home, Baba John. Or how would you say? Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead, go ahead. No, don't get hega peel behind but fatal do. That was grandma's favorite saying. You know, act like my words are fire. You don't want to hear a peel uh, but fatal do. <laughs> you don't listen, is what she'd say. No, don't get peel but fatal do. You think my words are fire. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Randy brought me a picture of me when I was six years old. Darn, I need a haircut. <laughs> my brother Dixon had that all those years in his box. That's how much older I am than Velma Ruth is because I had to be that age when my brothers would play catch with her. She was a little plump brown baby. <laughs> I'd be trying to carry her around and they wouldn't let me.
I remember Marion at Indian City when she was young. I remember A. Doppel when she was a baby. Marion and I have fun quoting our sisters, our older sisters. They're Kiowa, and it's funny. Mm -hmm. Yep, they was full of kidney. You kidney lovers would have loved that. I've eaten raw, raw beef kidney. I've never ever eaten raw. Buffalo. But you know, that would have been a buy for somebody to come and freeze if they were going to serve a bunch of it. It was so tastefully served at the Kiowa Princess's dance. On this, you know, it was, it looked so good. But I only seen that on Facebook. Yeah. Kaiwas do things so good when they're done in less of a hurry. Grandma Dorothy, how many people did you take up um up north? Where hi I'm Bach. Where did you go? Um for that when you guys cut that um Angapi. Oh, in Shawnee? No, when you took people up north. Oh, on uh, November 11th, there used to be a white horse dance ground, Ohoma dance ground, at our home place. The army, it was the warriors, but the army gave my dad a buffalo to feed at the noon meal. And the people would cut it on the south side of the south side of the house on a, it was always on november the 11th the anniversary of the end of world war one and it was world war ii this was during uh the war you know war years i don't know how he got it i don't know who spoke for it but they'd give that and all night the men roasted it on a bed spread spring was their primitive barbecue grill and it was a big pit by the barn but when they first butchered it i watched them there's pictures of it where they're cutting that meat on the south side of the house and they're throwing goo in it that's what they call that first cut i don't know how to spell it throwing goo a sharp knife a good sharpener and those ladies would be off that was the Dankos. I remember J.O. Tenedo's wife. They'd tie their hair up and they'd sit in a circle. And they'd bring it, your Grandma Kibone, Grandma Paul Jago. It was ladies that age. And they could make that go when they cut that. And uh, they were doing good to a... a, a it looked like the size of a bed spread or something. It'd be so thin. I mean, it would be so well cut. And that's what the men tended to all night. But that I watched them so and I watched sure. them make a little fire and yeah. put the 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 shin legs on the fire and uh, gave you two chopstick looking sticks and you ate that fat out of marrow out of that. That baked, uh, baked fat. Mm -hmm. And then sometimes the wow. elders would take bites of the, the fat. That's the best part. But they could do that and they knew where to chop because there were there was a bleeder in our barn where you could put it up and it went up completely. But those men knew how to butcher them. That'd be like Henry Tenedo and my dad and all of the older ones. Your grandpa until his uh, 
keep on. David Paddleti, all of the, all of the Paddleties. And that's what they prepare, heavy salo. There were a lot of people there from Carnegie. They camp out all over and how they made it with just one water well, I'll never know. But it was always a good dance. If it got too hot, they'd move it down to Keybones down at the bottom. It's a dance ground down there on the on the south side of the road. Because the old ones never quit dancing. Under threat of going to jail and doing without their grass money and doing without rations. And they and they would do it in secret, right? Not tell anybody else yeah. except for Kaiwu. They could break camp in ten minutes. Randy has some little cabins down there. They used to be places to swim. If you had to dance, it, you know, but you, dance there was always in the wintertime. I have a beautiful picture of uh, Ida Lone Wolf and JT's grandmother, Esther Topai, all of them in that little shelter they had at the dance ground there at the corner. But it's never mentioned no more, that dance ground. That's why I say our history just starts from more recently. It can't be pulled back. Like I mentioned to my children so they'd have it that your great-great-grandma, Mary Henry Kibon, and Joe Pulo from the Patua, they were both, I just seen the reminder, but I remember that story where they were both born at a camp at Red Stone on Christmas Eve at the encampment. And the missionaries named them Mary and Joseph. And they were the first uh, ones for the nativity scene. And I told Linda never to forget it and never forget where she got the story. That was Mary Kibone and Joe Pulo. And I'll remember things like that all of a sudden, and I'll say, write this down. 1900, December 24th. Yeah, you write it down too and put it as part of that history. And I like the way Ridstone has all of their old deacons, their names on the stained glass. That's a little treasure to see that in uh, Rainy Mountain. And then we got Wares and <laughs> Cedar Creek, Mountain Scott. Believe it or not, I've been in every one of those churches. I've counted every Indian that's buried in the Anadarko Cemetery. We were doing that to try to make a memorial magazine, I mean, a, a booklet of her Kaiwas are buried, especially our veterans. That idea went up the window too. We could do something like that. Mm -hmm. I started getting stickers driving to all the cemeteries. They're yeah. killers in the winter time, so I couldn't I couldn't cope with that myself. That's how we found Cutthroat Gap and the other places. Mm -hmm. Found the Hall of Fame and helped with seven of those. Now we haven't had a candidate or no kind of doings to put somebody in there. We've got many heroes that are in line. Linda Pula, Doris Pula, and me.
What you think, Marion? Marty? Delma? Courtney? Hi, it's a butt, fiddle do Hi again. Hey, hey, get your thumbs on, man. Velma Ruth was part of all of this, but she was a little girl. Dorothy, I was saying the word for the bone marrow to eat. We're talking about the bone and the eat the marrow out of the bone. The name that is called a tongue tongue, yeah, tongue tongue, yeah, which means leg fat. But that's the marrow. And then they use a little stick to take that marrow out of the bone. And it's called tank dope. I just Marion? make that comment. Oh. Marion and Everglades' names are all over. Up there. Miss. Oh, Miss Marion, what? How did you say the one, for the, the stick to get the uh, leg fat, bone thong yet was the bone fat, and what was the stick again? Tang dope. Tang, dope. That's the way you pronounce it. Dope is like a handle stick. Say it again. Tang. Tain dope. And then the mar the marrow is two dong yeah. Two dong yeah. That's the name of the word for marrow. This they had a little stick that they would push that fat out of the bone. That was called Tain Dope. For some reason, I'm getting hungry now. <laughs> <laughs> Dorothy, that food make me hungry. Talking about kidney, beef kidney. And when you get hit on the head or you hurt yourself, if you isn't the first uh, talk of pain as you say, huh? <laughs> and that's the Kaiwa way of saying, ouch. Huh, and go. If the kid throws at you with something. Or... Oh, that's right. That's right. <laughs> or uh, there is a saying during World War II, the greatest generation, when they want you to dance, they'd say, come break a leg. Well, the guy was headed on them because when they wanted you to dance a long time ago, they'd say, come on, more toady, I think. <laughs> come break a leg. <gasps> and that, Marianne, you remember that? I know I'm talk. Uh, yes. Yeah. That, oh. Well, making somebody get up to dance when they're sitting there high eye and you go right by them and you Thanks. take four steps right in front of where they're sitting and they have to get up it's kind of law I know I'm talking I'm not responsible for spelling those words some of them are so old Mm -hmm. 
Mar uh, what did you and just say, Miss Marion? Oh, I'm sorry, Grandma Dorothy. I was trying to get what Miss Marion said. Sorry, sorry, got pot. I said, son, ate a pot. It means all, all of a sudden they woke up or came to their senses. Tell Dorothy that they got one saw they kept, huh? Dorothy was saying to make those people get up and dance. <laughs> you dance in front of them. And I said, one saw they kept, huh? All of a sudden, oh, am I supposed to do this? Like they just woke up. And and you younger lady. There's many, many ways to do the sign language in uh, to the Lord's Prayer. I seen it done with mm. so beautifully the oh. other night by somebody that was Comanche. It's a Comanche lady that taught our people at at St. Patrick's. And they do it with such force and good. I just love that method. If you would look at different methods and see which way you would do it. There's many ways and they're all right. But this was done with the feeling in it. And it was so, I was so impressed. It was Sharon Martinez that taught the girls at our church. Many, many years ago when we first took up the cause of Kachiri. <laughs> but study that and see if it goes with what the signs are. Yeah. Okay, Dorothy, say that word again. When you take those four steps or dance in front of a person, say that description again so they can understand. I remember having the hit and the power. You showed it. Mm -hmm. You're talking about sign language. It's really an emotional. Everybody should kind of take that look at a. It's good to pray like that sometimes. So oh. I wrote down uh, for to. Come, come break a leg. Maton de a tame. Yeah. Come on. Maton de a tame. Maton de a tame. <laughs> and then I seen it in Man, that the one, one before that. Greatest right? generation. It says, you know, that's the during World War II, and they'd say, come on, break a leg. <laughs> Let's break a leg if somebody was asking you to dance. It's fun when you put Kaiba words to some English words like that. Oh. Is that what you were looking for, Miss Marion? Tode a taint. Break your leg. Tode, <laughs> okay. Not, not that. That was another one where she was given the description. But that's okay. I would thought maybe. Tony, a tame is more up to date. <laughs> okay. That's uh, all right. I was just okay. about maybe. The other one had to do with um, you're, you're giving a signal to the people or the person to get up, but it has a word description to it. And that's what I was trying to have Dorothy repeat again. But um, And then one more thing, Cricket, 
Melody, Marion, Velma, Marty, Mar Marion, um, Dolores, all of you, Ramon. I want to thank Catherine, our Kiowa cat from Missouri. She's so into this all the time. But if you'll notice that we always have cedar burning while we're talking when she's on a class. And I've been wanting to thank her. Oh, I love you. Thank you. I hope. But I always mm. notice that when you're on it, that's there. You see, I even bought, oh, yeah, I just love the smell. I take it as your prayer. Huh. It's silver horn token, eh? Reuben stumbling bear with my grandpa. Yeah. Hey, uh, I didn't get to meet him ever. But his birthday, my birthday are the same. It's pretty cool. Our ancestors are they go. Uh go bay my sleeping. <laughs> She's it was it Bay Day Ma that she went to sleep with. <laughs> She's she's always makes me smile when you have her on. Oh my goodness. She yeah, she's I don't know. She's having a little problem because she's gotta go see her mother and that traumatizes her. I don't know. She just you ought to make her a little bitty headband that maybe about three or four beats across. I probably have one around here. Shit. <laughs> Shall we say when we sing, we always all be going out of sequence, not tune. Y'all want to say something in Kiowa, each one? Melody? Oh, we've been taking notes. Um, but uh, I have to uh, log off here in a minute because we're uh, over time. Um, we we can try to say those, want, those phrases. Um, you want to practice the phrases? Yeah, um, backwards. Like, uh, tone de a tame. <laughs> Ma tone de a tame. Or, hey, God, hey, God, sock. A gal pot. Zone. <laughs> yeah, that one. No teeth. <laughs> My favorite one is a gal bon not I so de ga zone. Oh, where did you put that one? I'm going to go with that one. There it is. Is that it? it? It's way oh, up yeah, there. there it is. It's okay. way up there. Okay. Gal bon not I so de ga zone. Okay. Who else wants to try? <laughs> What's another one? Uh, let's see. Dabin, Guto, Hintali, Kathy. Anyone um, want to try? Let's see. I will. Okay. Is it in the chat? Uh, Oh, yeah, you got to scroll uh, up to like around 806, I think is where I found. Melody wrote it. Okay. 806. Okay. Uh, <laughs> the first one? I think. Yeah. 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 Bon. Bon. yeah bon, uh,
Okay. Hi. 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 Gabon, I so they got zone handle. Gabon, I so they got zone handle. Time, so they got zone handle. How was that? How did we do? Not I so they go no zone Okay. I put it in the bottom of the chat if anybody else wants to try. What about this one? I just put it in the bottom of the chat. Mm. No, uh, no, yeah. Oh, okay. oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Not song and hey, don't feel but fatal though. Go ahead, go get doggy mom. No, don't get hey, go feel but fatal though. No, don't get hey, go feel but fatal though. Oh, I need to put a strike through bracket B in there. That is, you think my words are fire. Yeah. No, don't get peeled, but but fatal do. No, don't get my words peeled, but like the heat from a fire. You'll think of it. But it'll do. When I talk, it's like you're talking to fire. And she meant that we didn't listen to her, Grandma. No, no don't get peeled about it'll do. Yeah, no, don't get peeled about it'll do. Yeah. And my little bitty one peeled, but no, don't get, get peeled. He don't listen to me, that little guy. <laughs> Just kind of come running by and wave at me. And boom, son. He's going to be some kind of captor. Captor is a statesman, an old Kiowa man. Captor. How's that say? Uh... Hats on tongue, uh, break a leg, tongue, 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 tongue beam. <laughs> it sounds like big water, but tongue beam. Is that, a, uh, is that how you'd say it, Marty, Marion, Thelma? Tongue day? Big legs. <laughs> yeah, tongue day. Uh, Break a big leg. <laughs> I can't even wear leggings, so my, my legs are so bony. <laughs> okay. Don't, don't, don't. <laughs> Fat legs. <laughs> and what about the ones that mix it up mm -hmm. and say, they sure like to act, don't they? <laughs> Have y'all heard <laughs> people say that? They like to act, don't they? You're trying to act fancy. <laughs> oh. Beautiful. <laughs> Say and do you say I'm Dolby Alma? Yeah, <laughs> you're making fancy. 
Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm talking. How does that hurt your feelings? <laughs> you can look at a list of names like that and they all mean something. That means you know them. Oh, I gotta write it down. Okay. You, you guys were talking about breaking your leg when you're having somebody come out and dance. And uh -huh. I'm going to say mine like this. Tone they get tame, not get cold, babe. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> How are you doing, by the way? Good, really good. Good. Yeah, see my doctor Friday. So mm. see what he tells me. Well, I'm about to graduate to a cane, I think. From Walker to Kane, you know. Yeah. Miss Pula doesn't feel pain. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't really hurt, and she has this big, huge cast. <laughs> hey, cricket! I just found out that now I've got four painkillers on my um, medicines that you're allergic to. Four uh -huh. painkillers. I don't know what I'm going to do if I ever get hurt. <laughs> <laughs> if you ever do start to feel pain. Yeah. <laughs> You did get hurt. You just don't feel pain. <laughs> when, when one of my girls says, how do you feel this morning? And I'll say, don't ask me. I don't know which one to tell you where I <laughs> Put that little, it's, what is it called? Lyra? Yeah. yeah with the happy yeah. face and the sad face. <laughs> it's all the damn way over. And it leads me to curse. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay because my baby says darn it he's putting on his oh my clothes him gonna dance with his friends when he said uh, Melody you could tell him it's uh, Sunday May 19th is uh, Vision's uh, graduation dance for high school graduation. It's uh, Sunday, May 19th in Carnegie at the Kiowa Community Building. Yay, Vision! Yay! I think we'll last about two two dances, baby. Oh, two dances. Yeah. Oh, my call. What time does it start? Two o'clock, Melody. Okay. Oh, oh. Two o'clock. Gore dancing, supper at five, and then uh, war dancing afterwards at six. I put the uh, flyer in the chat. Okay. Anybody else got one? That y'all want me to come to? <laughs> Ramon, you still here? Dang. Is he here? I think Wonder. he has a step away. One get quiet, Ian. He's good about staying. Oh. Well, it's about nine o'clock. Might be uh, close to bedtime for some. <laughs> close to my bedtime. <laughs> um, but uh, it's my birthday. If y'all want to sing a birthday song for me <laughs> on Sunday. Ooh, who's awesome. birthday? Hank de Maz. When Sunday. 
You want us to sing? You want this to assault you? <laughs> <laughs> On Sunday. <laughs> oh, I go by the year. It's 24, so I'm 54. That's kind of summer uh -huh. when you, you remember people crawling around. <laughs> <laughs> Doing their first little show dance. <laughs> oh. And most of all. All right. And the rest of y'all, you older ladies. Y'all are sure a lineup of some ladies. I respect y'all for that. Y'all are ladies. Well, we have good examples. I'm no. honored to work with y'all. Every one of y'all. And you others, the little younger ones, you're following right behind them. And it's good to do that. Dolores and I have known each other for 80, 90 years. We're kin, but we always knew that respect for each other. She's never said a hateful word to me, and I've never done vice versa. And boy, I enjoyed talking to y'all tonight. Now I've got to branch the whole half side of a show. That was fun. Oh, that was that was a good one. Welcome, honey. So, however, I'm this wondering if, uh, yes. Um, I'm wondering if, uh, Miss Velma, if you'd be able to close us out with a prayer. They don't say if you're still still available. Oh, <clears throat> oh. dog e dog I beg a dog e a moy dog e dog e dog e. They own they get all things so on get dog e go I don't get. Uh, he to eat my hay, my dog. He know a hoe to the young dame dog a dog. Go to the do dog. He go hate to get things for dog. They who they go better for the dog. He go give my oil better. I'm paid. He to eat too. You dumb tiger dog. Dog. He know a hoe to a hoe the dog a con the and the dog say go bora bora dog. He know the young they. Thank you, our Heavenly Father. Thank you for thy grace and thy mercy, thy unconditional love and compassion, thy healing power. We are so grateful for all that you do for us. Thank you for uh, the love that you have for us. And pray, Lord, that you would bless each individual who is participating in the session. Um, we're so thankful, Lord, for Dorothy and all the she has to offer us, and we're so grateful that we were still able to learn uh, Kiowa. And uh, thank, uh, thank you also for Dolores and Martha, Marion, and each each individual here. Uh, thank you that you've uh, uh, blessed us with the desire to to want to keep our language, and thank you for making that possible. Thank you for Melody, who goes out of her way to 
to provide us with the opportunity to have the, these discussions. We're so thankful, Lord, and pray that you would bless each individual here, bless their families, Lord, and bless each one physically, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. We're so grateful that you love us and that you, you're always with us. So, once again, I thank you for, for this opportunity. Thank you for a beautiful day that we had today. So, those who are homeless, Lord, pray that you would protect them, Lord. The adults, yeah. children, those who are incarcerated, Lord, and pray that you would bless uh, uh, the, the the ones who wanted to participate but weren't able to, pray that you would bless them, Lord. And once again, thank you for thy blessings, Lord, and um, the gift of life, Doc. Aho, they go, go. Aho. Obaha. Amen. Thank sorry. You. Sorry, I had to mix Kawa and English. <laughs> Aho. Aho. Appreciate it. All right. Goat day, Bado. Uh, oh. Cat, are you still there? Oh. Are you still there? Hey, I went to go visit Phyllis and Iris. Yay. Yeah, it was so nice to see them. Oh, it was it was just so nice. Iris, gosh, she's <laughs> Iris oh. Is oh. real, real good. Uh, oh, I'm Iris, glad. Yeah. But Thank you. Nice. I hope for going there and visiting because. Yeah. I was telling her about the baby and she goes, yeah, she's really cute. <laughs> We're coming back down the beginning of May. I got to come down there for court, for Kyle court. Oh. Oh, for but, your speeding ticket? <laughs> no. Oh, dang. No, I already paid that off a long time oh. ago. <laughs> no, it's for mom. Oh. oh. Mom. Yeah. So, but yeah, I'll be down there. I can't wait to get down there and see them too. Yeah. Crack me up. Yeah. <laughs> but I love you. Keep love you up. too. Uh, uh -huh. uh. Hey, got aim oi bunk though. Oh. Uh.